Welcome back to my channel everybody. In today's video I'm going to be taking you along for my first ever business class flight which was from Los Angeles to London with American Airlines. But first we had to precariously navigate the freeway to Los Angeles airport during one of Los Angeles worst ever storms where it rained for four days straight so this definitely made for a hair raising ride to the airport. So I was originally booked on this flight as a premium economy passenger, but when I went to check in, American Airlines offered me what should have been an 11,662 business class seat for just $555 as an upgrade. And I thought this was a deal that was just too good to miss, um, particularly as it was gonna be an overnight flight back to Europe for 11 hours. This meant I moved from 18J in premium economy to 15A in business class. Weirdly, the check-in experience in business class was quite chaotic compared to economy because of course the self-service machines never work so you have to queue up and the queue was actually probably about 20 minutes um, to do backdrop whereas economy I don't ever remember it being that long. However, American Airlines definitely made up for this when I got to go through priority security which took only a couple of minutes compared to a long time normally as an economy passenger. I also got lounge access because I'm now a business class passenger. I honestly thought they were not going to let me in here, but wow, they let me in because I was not smartly dressed at all. I've never been in a business class lounge and I literally had a tracksuit on and trainers and I know sometimes they don't let people in unless they're like smart casual, but they let me in. I could not believe it. <laughs> There was actually so much food on offer in the lounge but I disappointingly <laughs> decided to just get a small plate of food because I knew I was going to eat while on the plane. Don't hate me guys, don't hate me. Can I also just please make a comment about Tom Bradley International Terminal? Like there are no shops and you're probably thinking what do you mean there are no shops? I'm literally looking at like Hermes and Bulgari and Chanel. Yes there are shops where you can buy ridiculously expensive handbags. But there are no shops where you can just buy like essential pharmacy things that you might need, particularly as a female. Um, so they definitely need to add in like a CVS or something because sometimes a Hermes handbag is not exactly what we need in that second moment. <laughs> I'm just I'm just pointing out they need a bit more convenience. That'd be fantastic. But anyway, time to head to the gate. <laughs> Small lightweight items may be placed in the seat pocket. If you need assistance, please let us know.
every flight review I've ever seen goes on about these Bang & Alpha Sun, whatever they're called, like headphones. They didn't work on my seat. And also my own noise cancelling headphones, I could only get mono. So don't know what's going on there. taken the liberty of pausing the menu so you can see what we had so first up we had a small plate of sun-dried tomato i'm assuming that says tata <laughs> and then seasonal greens next up there were four dinner options of course by the time they got to me in little old 15a they had run out of everything other than the bourbon glazed salmon and the cheese enchiladas i went for the cheese enchiladas and it was a good choice because i don't actually like fish so that was my only choice basically and for desserts, we were going to be given the option of ice cream or a cheese plate. Of course, I went for ice cream because I'm human and I like ice cream. After we were served some obligatory airline nuts, out came the starter, which was delicious and fresh. Honestly, it tasted like it had been freshly picked that day. It was so nice. Could not fault it at all. Then out came the enchiladas. And to be honest, I'm actually pretty glad that I got these because, again, it was a real step up from economy food. It was so delicious and very, very tasty. Um, then came um, a cup of tea afterwards and I don't really know what to say about this but that's kind of not how you serve tea to British people and just in case you don't know what I mean here is a reference. This is an official Her Majesty or now His Majesty British Tea Colour Chart. Yes this is official. Um, basically don't serve us white tea and please don't serve ale grey. Just do proper Yorkshire tea and just don't fill it all with milk. Oh my god. Um, so yeah I didn't drink the tea. It was not good but the ice cream came and it was absolutely delicious. Although I will say a weird thing happened is I started eating this and they turned all the lights off. <laughs> My iPhone does give like more light in dark situations. But when I zoom out, you can see literally I was eating ice cream in the pitch black. Um, <laughs> that was a bit odd. I think they could have waited till they collected the dishes before they turned the lights off. But hey ho. <laughs> And with all that ice cream and Earl Grey and tea offensiveness, um, it was time to try out the flatbed, which is exactly why I bought this business class ticket, because it's pretty brutal doing a red eye flight on an economy seat for 11 hours overnight. This was very, very comfortable, although I didn't have the best seats, I was next to the toilet. Um, to be honest, it was extremely comfortable and, you know, it was very easy to put some headphones on and go to sleep. I awoke somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean and I thought this would be a good opportunity to give you a seat tour because you can't see as well obviously when it's pitch black so these are the seat controls that you have at the side to control the bed and the angles of everything very comfortable plenty of room to spread out which is really really nice <laughs> also the amenity kit from Shinoa or Shinoa. Um, I don't feel like it's like the best thing ever on sliced bread but it's a kind of nice kit um, to be honest it's pretty similar to what you get in premium economy. Pen, lip balm, eye mask, just the basic general stuff but I mean it's free so if you like an amenity kit there is your amenity kit. Can I also say whoever draws the American Airlines maps um, you want a refund mate. How come half of the UK has disappeared? I live on the East Coast and this did not appear on the map at all. I'm slightly offended. <laughs> not gonna lie, where's Grimsby? For the breakfast options, there was the option of an American breakfast or a fresh fruit bowl. And I went for the American breakfast, which weirdly had Canadian bacon. All right then, all right then. Um, but it was actually really, really delicious. And this scone was so hot and fresh. Oh my God, beautiful. 10 out of 10 for the food, for the breakfast, um, absolutely lovely. Uh, we should be landing in approximately uh, 30 minutes. I'd like to thank you for flying with us today. We appreciate your business and we look forward to serving you again in the future. Have a great day.
remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is turned off. And keep the aisles clear of all carry-on items. Take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items, like tablets and cell phones. When you open the overhead compartment, be careful, as items may have moved in flight. And thank you for choosing American Airlines. So in summary, um, the flight was pretty good. Um, I don't know whether I would necessarily pay $11,655 for it as American Airlines were selling this if you wanted to purchase the ticket on the day. Um, even like a normal business class seat, to be honest, I just try and fly economy just to save money. But certainly for those red eye um, flights overnight, it definitely is worth that upgrade if they offer you an app to buy an upgrade for just that extra $500. I think in this instance, it was worth it. Um, particularly for me, because I don't live near London, I live in the north. And in this case, it took me seven hours on a train to get from Heathrow back to where I live. And if I had done that without any sleep, I would have been up for over 30 hours. And by that point, it's not even safe really to travel um, because you just get so sleep deprived. The extra $500 was worth it. But would I buy business class for a daytime flight or when it wasn't severely reduced? Probably Probably not. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about my experience on American Airlines Business Class, please leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.